Welcome back. So let's get started now that we know what we're making. So the first step that we need to take is to build out a migration. And a migration is a nice clean way of adding database tables or altering columns or manipulating the database using commands. That way we don't have to go in into like phpMyAdmin or some other tool to update our database and then what that does for us is as we move from our development computers to our staging uh, servers and then to our production servers, we have a really clean uh, example of what those uh, changes to the database need to be. And then anybody who has access to the code can easily see what the database on their end needs to look like. And so Type Rocket makes that very easy by giving us access to create those migrations. So let's look at the code now and see how that works. So when you create a migration, there are two things that you can do. So if we look here at our example, we're creating a table in the up section and it has a few columns. And then in the down section, we're removing that table that we created. And this prefix, if you're curious, is just a template that the migration look for, looks for to replace it with the database prefix that you've set in WordPress. Typically that's WP underscore. So let's take this uh, migration that we're using in this tutorial. We'll copy it and we're going to jump over to our code, create and run the migration and we'll add the table first and then we'll remove it and then we'll add it back just to see what that looks like. So we're looking here, as you can see, there's no WP underscore flights table and that's what we would be creating. I think it show up somewhere in here and it's not there currently. So let's jump to the code and now go create that migration to create this table. All right, so here's our setup. I'm inside the uh, folder where I can run Galaxy. So from the terminal here, I will run PHP Galaxy. And we can see there's a list of commands that are available to us. Make migration is one of them. So we will run that. PHP Galaxy. Uh, make migration. Add flights table will be the name of the migration. I'll hit enter here. And then it's going to tell me where it's been located to and the migration is created. So now uh, if we go to our theme under database, we'll see we have migrations and I can pull up this migration and drop in the information that I pulled out of the tutorial and clean the code up just a little bit. So it's nice and clean. And then when we run migrate up, we will do the up section. And if we run migrate down, we'll do the down section of this migration. So I'm going to save this. Go back to the command line, clear this out, do PHP Galaxy migrate up. And this is how we run the up section of the migration. And so we'll hit enter here. And then it's going to tell us that it successfully created our migration. And we can go check that out in our database schema. Okay, in our schema, I'm going to refresh and we'll see flights has arrived. Open that up and we'll see we don't have any rows in it yet. So in the next tutorial, we'll start adding information into this and uh, see how the controllers work within this whole system. However, let's jump back to the code and let's get rid of this database table. So how do we do that? Well, we just run down. PHP Galaxy migrate down and this will run the drop table. And then it will say, hey, this is destructive. Are you sure? And we're going to say yes. And then it will delete our flights table out of the database. So let's go look back and make sure that's gone. And let's close this out and refresh. And flights are gone. So everything looks good. Let's go put things back together. Migrate back up. And there we have it. Our migrations are complete. And this is looking really nice. Now, one of the nice things about Type Rocket is it gives you an interface to look at how your migrations are going. So let's jump over to the dev tools uh, and see how that works. And if you're not seeing what we're about to see, you just need to go to your config under app and make sure that you have the dev tools extension installed and enabled. Into our site, go to dev, migrations, and we'll see that we have this migration and it was run at this time. And then as we add more migrations, they'll be listed here and you'll see which ones were run and which ones were not run. And this migration system is quite powerful. As you dive into it, 
you'll also find that you don't have to run migrations from the command line. You could also run them from, say, a plugin or theme activation. So as you're developing your site, you have not only server options in terms of running commands on like deployment scripts, but you also have the availability, if you're a plugin or theme developer, of having those things update or migrate as somebody either updates their theme or activates a theme or activates a plugin, updates a plugin, you can really manage the state of the database that your plugin needs through these migrations. And it doesn't uh, get all necessarily wrapped together into one piece. You can actually have different folders and different sections in your database to kind of manage, uh, say, your migration separately for one plugin and the theme separately for uh, something else. So you can actually have multiple groups of migrations for different tools. So very, very flexible in terms of how you can use migrations with TimeProcket. However, that's the end of this tutorial. Even though there's a lot more I'd like to say about it, this gets us on to the next step, which is the controllers and views of our uh, flights application.